recorded. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. We Excellent. are very pleased to have you here with us. Ay, ay, ay. And uh, welcome yeah. with, to all of us. Uh, you will please, please let us yes. know about this. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to start right now our uh, student leadership showcase. Uh, good afternoon. Some of you are in the West Coast, so good morning for you, everyone, to these virtual heads. Student Leadership Showcase. My name is Jovelkis Montalvo, Director of the Heads Consortium, and I will be your host during this virtual event. Uh, we remind you that this event is being recorded to share it with students who were not, were unable to connect today. So please, uh, uh, please keep mute hey. your microphones. And, and the recording will be shared on the same page you registered. Also, you can see the recording on the HEADS YouTube channel and on our social media accounts. For today's events, we have more than 300 students registered. We are pleased that so far we have more than 100 already live with us. We welcome all the leaders and university students uh, who accepted our invitation to this virtual student leadership showcase uh, edition, taking your goal to the next level. We also uh, thanks all the deans and vice presidents of student affairs, counselors, the directors, and staff of the institutions for their va valuable collaboration to make this event possible. In particular, we greet students of our member institutions in Puerto Rico. We have from Atenas College, Colegio Universitario de San Juan, EDP University, Macau Community College, ICPR Junior College, Inter-American University, the host of HEADS, and they have people, uh, we have students from all the campuses, including Aguadilla, Recibo, Coupey, Bayamón, Guayama, Barranquitas, Ponce, San Germán, and Fajardo. We also have students from the campuses of National uh, University in Bayamón and Mayagüez, and also in Caguas. Also, we have students from Universidad Ana Geméndez, University of Puerto Rico from different campuses as well, and Universidad Central del Caribe. Also, we have today, since this is an English uh, version of the Student Leadership Showcase, students from the US. And those are from Bronx Community College, California State University, San Marcos, College of Tantea, Staten Island, Ostex Community College, the State University of New York, at Albany, Lehman College, Louisiana, Community and Technical College System we have from different campuses, University of Houston downtown, and also we have from Palm Beach State College, Florida. And also we are surprised that we have students from international institutions like Universidad Autónoma de Guadalajara, which is one of our heads members. And also we have from Dominican Republic and Mexico universities like Universidad Abierta para Adultos de Dominican Republic and Universidad del Valle en Puebla. Welcome all of you. You are the real protagonist of this event. And all we have planned has been thinking about you. Thank you for all for your participation. And we want to know that your opinions about these events are very valuable. We invite you to publish your comments under the hashtag next level and heads event. Now we want to start the event announcing the winners who promote today's event after participating in the head student leadership showcase that we share uh, that we held on September 18. Those winners help us to promote this event, sharing the promo uh, they are designed on their uh, social media accounts. Please, Delisa, put in the, the names of the winners on the chat. Uh, you will see all the, there are 20 of them, the first 20 that we received the evidence that they shared the, the promotion in their media, they will receive it. We have two winners from Mexico. Those winners will be receiving by regular mail uh, headphones from the, from the heads with the logo, very cute headphones. And the other, the rest of the winners that are from Puerto Rico, they will receive by, uh, by regular mail a, a card a, of chilies bar and, glee, and grill and also from Pia Shanks uh, is a certificate for a 
either a free appetizer or a dessert certificate, one for each of the restaurant from Chili's and from Pierce Cham. I please look at the at the chat to see if your name is there. And also many of you follow the contest rules to enter the prize raffle we will have at the end of this event. Uh, for that, you, we want to make sure that we receive your message with the evidence of your participation. So please verify that your name is on the list that Jelisa will add on the chat. This is a different link, a uh, list, excuse me. And if you don't see your name on the list, please, you, you still have time until Jubel Kiss, you're on mute. Jubel you're on mute. So you haven't heard anything I said? No, no, just the last sentence. Ah, okay, sorry, I just, okay, great. Just so you still have time. If you don't see the name that you submit the evidence, remember that the email have to be dated by yesterday. That was the deadline to submit the evidence of you sharing the, and following the step for the con to enter to the ruffle of the context. So please uh, send us again uh, the email to info at heads.org and we will definitely add your name on the, on the ruffle that we will have at the end. If you have any question, please write on the chat. Angelisa or Dr. Karen Rivera, our head uh, consultant for student affairs, can help you with that. Uh, now we formally start our Student Leadership Showcase edition, taking your goals to the next level. The main purpose of this event is to promote the wide variety of services totally free of charge to support your academic goals and increase your chances of success. Those services can be found, meanwhile, if you can uh, for, uh, move the slides to the student placita, so students can see a screen screen, you just go to heads.org, or click on the menu that says either our services or virtual plaza and then select the student placita and there you will see the list of different databases like the testing and education reference center the career uh, exploration model the the new Peterson Career Prep. All these services uh, are totally free of charge. You only need to know where to find it. And in the databases, if you don't have the access code to click uh, on your name, uh, you have to click on the name of your institution and put the access code. If you don't have it, just send us an email at info at heads.org or send us a text message to 787 -616 3201, Jelisa, if you can put my phone number there so students can uh, reach me right away and I can give you the access code to access those databases. Remember that those services, again, are free of charge and is to support you in your academic goals. Uh, also, to share uh, the main of purpose of this event is to also share presentations of experts resources in leadership as the speakers that are were invited for, for you today so you can hear from them directly and this is another of many events with you as HES wants to continue offering okay. events like this for many more years to support and take your goals to the next level. Finally, we want to recognize the support of the members of the Student Advisory Committee. The main role of this committee is to pro uh, propose ideas to develop services and activities like this one that can meet the needs of students like these events and also the webinars that we share during the semester. This committee meets through phone, sco phone calls and now uh, uh, video conference like this two or three times per semester, per semester, excuse me. And if you're interested in joining or be, being part of this committee, uh, just send us a letter indicating why you sh will be the best candidate to belong to this committee and your resume to info at heads.org. 
org before November 16 and we will evaluate your letter and resume and then we'll let you know if you will be part of this committee. Also, we want to recognize and thank students of the Heads Ambassador Student Program. We started two years ago and continue thanks to the support of Heads member institutions. In this case, the students uh, fair office are the one who designate the student to be ambassador to promote head services in their campuses. And if you are interested in being a head ambassador, please contact us as well to our info at heads.org or by phone 787-616-3201 to indicate what is the process in order to uh, tell the student affairs office at your campus that you're interested in participate. Finally, to conclude the welcome remarks, we want to recognize the support and collaboration of all the companies and corporations that have made this event possible, especially um, Minway, if you can put the, uh -huh, that, exactly, our uh, heads, uh, host, head squatter uh, institution uh, where the head's office is located, which is Interamerica, Universidad Interamericana de Puerto Rico. We are at the Metropolitan Campus. And also we want to definitely uh, recognize the support of Yoshida Academy that you will learn more about them very in a few moments. And also the, the next slide, uh, Office Max, uh, Cape Air, also uh, we have Popular Bank of Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico top level domain. We also have uh, in our sponsor, we have Chili's, Macaroni and Greer and P.S. Shands. And we are very grateful for your support and commitment to education. Now, we are pleased to introduce our first speaker of this event, this, this Student Leadership Showcase event. His name is Ariel Amber, and he will be talking about the importance of college life. But first, let me share some information about Ariel. Ariel, in the meantime, if you want, you can be sharing uh, your, uh, uploading your presentation. Ariel Amber is a professor of information system at EDP University in Puerto Rico and a specialist in information system. He has a master's degree in information system with a concentration in digital fraud investigation and two graduate certification in system auditing. Ariel served in the Internet Society Chapter Board of Directors and also is a member of the Heads Advisory Committee. He has dedicated himself to working with institutions of the uh, higher education, such so as the Puerto Rico Board of Education. He was part of the Heads Ambassador Programs uh, too, uh, designated by the EDP University to uh, offer uh, presentations and orientation about head services. As ambassador, he achieved the goal of impacting 30% of the university student community. So congratulations for this achievement. And likewise, he was recognized with the Aníbal Nieves Nieves Foundation Award for his committed work with the community and free uh, work serving as a tutor tutor of information system for, for people for the free community. The lessons learned and experience help him to be a higher education professor today. And you will see uh, who uh, uh, during his presentation, how he definitely uh, put these experiences in order to achieve the next level. So welcome, Ariel. Hey, thanks, Jubelki, and hi, everyone. As Jubeki said, my name is Ariel Ambert, and today I will be presenting the theme that is importance of the college life. I don't know if Minue, can you uh, share the slide? Thank you. So this will be our topic today. It will, it will be importance of the college life. This will be briefly, but I will try to be right on the point. So please, next slide. This will be three tips that you will need to have a successful university life. And I know this will sound very cliche, I know, but the first one will be organize your idea. Sometimes we have clutter of ideas. We have something to create, something to design, but 
we need to gather these ideas and organize everyone that we have so we can have a better future. Because I will tell you, if I know this at the beginning, I know today that I will be a very, very <laughs> top other position, but everything comes at the right time. So you will be seeing during this presentation. So this will be our first tip that I have for you. The second one will be establishing realistic goals like student association, partnership, activities. And when I say realistic goals, it's like realistic goals because I want to be rich men. I want to have money, <laughs> but we need to work harder. We need to have something in mind that we want to do, something that I can achieve. And the other day I have something to achieve and I want to, this clutter of ideas convert to something that is real. So we need to establish these realistic uh, goals to have uh, a very uh, looking for the future for something that we can create and benefit the community and us. So I think that will be the second tips that I have for you. So the third one will be manage time correctly. This is very important. And this was very shocking at the beginning when I was a student ambassador. Uh, we'll talk that later, but managing time, studying, working, and everything is like, I know it's difficult, but you can achieve it. So you need to establish priorities of doing things. So I want to go to the beach, but tomorrow I need to uh, turn in an exam. So what waits more? waits more an exam because the reach will be there, but you have until tomorrow to, uh, to turn in that exam. So this will be very cliche, but I'll tell you, if you do these three tips, it will be very good for you and you will see why. Please, next slide, thank you. And you will say, uh, but yeah, you now are a professor, but that is not like that. I was a student like you. I was a student that was wasting time doing other things. And when I say other things, I know that I said beach earlier, but I like to eat. I like go to the plaza. I like to buy things. <laughs> but sometimes we need, like I said, pri make priorities of things that we do. So I was a student like you, 2014. I was sitting on one of the chairs in the university. I was very freshman. That was my first semester. So I want to go out, I want to do things, I want to do everything because I'm, I'm a university student right now, so I can do everything. But it's not like that. You are still a student, so you need to take priority. So this, this day, I was sitting on one of the chairs in the office, so, and one of the, the dean, uh, the student dean, uh, talked to me and said very randomly, because this was very, very randomly, I tell you. So he come to me and said, you need to know that you not always be a student and you need to take advantage of what you have right now as a student. And I was like, uh, well, thank you for the tip, but what I can do with that? <laughs> so I, I was very hungry. So I go eat something and then come back and try to do a brainstorming of what he said. So then something clicked in my mind and I said, ah, oh, I need to begin to search for things that I can do as a student. And I was very certain that going to a university and take classes was I can do as a student, but there is more. And that's when I began to search on obviously Google. So I began to do on Google a very <laughs> profound research. And I was like, what I can do as a student when I'm a student. So the first thing that I do, it was, uh, I saw in one of the pages that I can create a student organization. And I said, oh, well, creating a student organization maybe is very difficult because I need to gather students, I need to take topics, I need to, but it was a brainstorming. So I came to the, the student team and I was like, well, the other thing that you told me the other day, it was very good, but now you have a problem. You need to help me to do a student organization. <laughs> and he was like very surprised and said, that is the spirit. So he, he and I became to, to work and we create uh, a student organization. I don't know if you can turn the other slide. Yeah, the student organization was called Asociación de Informática and it was in EDP University. 
uh, it was very successful. We have around 37 uh, student members. Uh, we go to hackathons that are, are uh, compet competitions for programming students. So we go to take workshops, we go to Microsoft, then they get Microsoft to ally with us and give us uh, free workshops. And it was very, very good. Uh, actually, <laughs> I was very surprised because I didn't know that every one of us has the power to do something. And this was uh, like my mini power, I can say. So I was very, very uh, pleased that I can gather the students, go to places, the university support us. So you need to think that not only because you are a student, you don't have like any power. Yeah, you have power because knowledge is power. So you need to gather things. You need to gather students. You need to talk with uh, the, the students team, uh, the academics team. When you need to talk, whatever you need to talk to do things, but you need to do it. So this was very successful for me. So this, uh, this uh, student organization, it was very uh, lovely to me. But then the majority of the students graduate. So it was very, very shocking that almost all my members from the student organization was left. So we tried to uh, gather another students and we gather another one. So I continued to work on this. But my mind keep hearing that what the student dean told me. So I was like, I need to do more and I do more. So I was researching and the other thing that I found, it was doing an internship. So doing an internship, I was like, I, I'm very scared of this because this is a work. I don't know if you can, uh, yeah, thank you. And doing an internship was very difficult because I was like, I'm only 18 years old. I never work <laughs> as, something that I'm studying because my internship and they accept me, uh, it was in programming. So it was, it was a scare, but I said, you know what? I go to the beach, I can drown on the beach so I can go to the work and water the work. So I go to the work. So they accept me, it was a very uh, rough interview. But after all of that, they accept me because I have this student organization. So it was like, Oh, yes. <laughs> it was like, oh, one thing led to another. So in this internship, uh, I was six months on this internship because the internship only lasts three months, but they renewed the internship and I was six months there in the student and the educational, oh my God, I, I don't know. El Consejo de Educación de Puerto Rico. So they are the ones that led the... Puerto Rico universities to operate. So they give license and they approve the new degrees and everything. So I was working there. That's a major company for me at the time. So it was like very, very good. So as I said, one thing led to Ariel, you're mute, I think. Okay, no. now I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, in the university I was studying, there was a position open for an IT support. And I was only, uh, I have my associate degree at the time. So I was studying my bachelor degree. And then I tried to do what, what my mind that I, I think I'm a, a little crazy, but sometimes for having a successful, <laughs> I think we need uh, to open our minds and take a uh, risk. So there was a risk. I was going to university as, the, as a student, but for an interview for be a worker there. And I was only with associate degree. So I was very, very scared. But I said, I have an internship. So <laughs> I was working. So I, I think that maybe, but it was a 50-50 chance. So when I go there, I do the interview and they accept me because I have the association and I was doing the internship. So I have like a mini background of work and 
doing something for the university. So it was like a double-edged sword for me to use it in a good way. So it was very good. So here's <laughs> with 19 years old, working for a university <laughs> as an IT support. So it was very, very good at the time. I don't know if you can change the slide, please. So in the meantime, it was this, this is, I think, I know it's because uh, Jovaki is there, <laughs> but this is uh, one of my precious moments that I have as being a student. And it was becoming a student ambassador for HEDS. As Jovaki said, you can become a student ambassador for HEDS. If you talk with your dean, uh, your student dean and whatever. So if you do that, that is another risk that I was taking because I was working, I was studying my bachelor degree, and I was becoming a new ambassador for the heads. So it was very major for me. At the time, I was not like publicly speaking, very open. So I, I was very afraid, <laughs> but I think that this, uh, these workshops and everything that you get from being a student ambassador for HEDS is not only sharing these beautiful and databases that they have, everything of the services, but they help you with workshops and everything to become this person that you can go out and talk about whatever topic that you have and have the power to do it. So that is one of the good memories that I have from being a student ambassador, taking workshop, from doing public speaking and everything. So, uh, thank you, Jovelki. <laughs> so, this was very major for me because not only I was impacting my university, but when we mm -hmm. connect with the university from uh, Colombia and the others university, they come to Puerto Rico and us, that it was the ambassadors, one, the one teaching them how to use the, the platform and everything. So you get this cultural and interaction with other universities. So I need to tell you, this was very, very, very good. So uh, please, next slide. So what am today? So today, as you like said, I was a professor, now I'm a professor, sorry, and IT administrator. So now I'm working for the system information of a university that have five campuses. And I'm a professor from system uh, app development. So I do that classes of creating new app from Android and iPhone and everything of that. But doesn't have be possible if I was not the one doing these things that I told you at the very beginning, these three steps that are gather ideas, manage our times, and creating realistic goals. And you will see that everything in life, it will come to you. So I don't know if you can, yeah, thank you. One last thing that I want to say. So uh, I, was, I was saying uh, after I finished all, I decided to take another step and it was doing a master degree because I was finishing my, my bachelor and I was already employed. So I do a master degree in concentration and digital fraud. Uh, so when I finished this, it's when I become a professor. That was another door that opened for me. And I was very pleased with the universities for taking this risk from a person that is very new and everything. But they knew that all those doors behind everything of that is what loved me, uh, is what uh, guided me to this. And now I love all my work. And that's what uh, I want you to take from me. That is, you need to take advantage of every opportunity that your university and life offers you. Because you never know when an open door will lead you to another one. That is a quote that I use a lot. And I, I, write, I wrote that. <laughs> and it was very close to me because that is the only way that you, can take your goals to the next level. I hope that you get everything from me. This is a briefly presentation, but I hope that you get everything that you try to accomplish in this life. 
I send you hug and everything. So take care and have a nice day. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ariel, for your excellent presentation. And definitely, uh, it's a very powerful uh, advice. And now our two new uh, speakers, invited speaker and main speaker of this event will definitely mm -hmm. elaborate on this specific advice that you just did. But before we continue with the presentation of our main speakers, who are also expert collaborators uh, for HEADS, Minue Yoshiba and Angelica Ogando, let me share a, a, a summary of their very uh, outstanding uh, professional profile. Let's start with Minue, who I met a long time ago and I consider her as a friend, she's excellent. And Minue also is considered the world's number one multicultural speaking coach. She is half Mexican, half Japanese, multilingual entrepreneur whose mission is to help people discover who they are and what they are capable of to then embrace their powers with bravery and leave an impact in the world. Throughout uh, her co coaching and consulting services, both in Fortune 100 companies and her international consulting business, she enables choices for those who are ready to take the stage to transcend uh, and from Mexico, she has been in Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina, to Dubai, and back to the USA. She has been the catalyst for change for over 5,000 uh, uh, individuals in the past three decades. Minue follows the Kaizen file, uh, philosophy of continuous improvement and is an expert in experiential learning. She teaches body language and cultural understanding to reach the result, create meaningful connections and sparkle, sparkle chance to truly achieve a permanent transformation. To make this a reality for a broader audience in the U.S. and worldwide, along with her partner, Angelica Ogando, she co-founded Yoshida, Yoshida Academy for Excellence and Transformation. And let me continue with Angelica Ogando. He's one of the most effective and requested speak performing coaches for executive leadership and diversity and inclusion trainer. She has delivered uh, multicultural trainings for Fortune 500 companies as well as universities and colleges throughout her coaching and her consulting business. Her clients call her the people whispered due to the amazing results she achieved with them. Angelica is fairly passionate, transparent, trustworthy, and dedicated to helping clients transform from the inside out. Ms. Agando is an international powerhouse speaker, entrepreneur, philanthropics, and change maker. Her superpower is being Afro-Latina, which she has leveraged to deliver trainings and keynotes in Spanish in Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Brazil, and Argentina. She is the founder and CEO of the Enrich Mind LLC and co-founder of Yoshida Academy, which focuses on helping individuals to improve their leadership talents and public speaking skills to achieve extraordinary results. Angelica is a an fearless champion of educating companies on people with different abilities, disabilities, as well as Latinas and women of color. Please help me welcome Minue and Angelica for the present, the main presentation of this event. Go ahead, ladies. Thank you so much, Jubelkis, for that amazing introduction. I already started to engage with all of you on the chat, and I told you when we first started that this is going to be very engaging. We need you to have your cameras on, to be on the chat, because we're going to be calling on you. So we're going to get started. Ariel just said something so important. He said that you have to be open to that opportunity when another door opens. So welcome to this session um, from the Yoshida Academy. And we have some rules of engagement. So these are the rules. 
Rule number one, ask questions. Please, if you have something burning inside of you while we're speaking, either raise your hand, take yourself on mute, off mute and say, hey, I have a question or put it on the chat. Because if you remember, we already said that Jelixa is the chat moderator. So she's gonna be letting us know. Then if you want to take notes, please do so. There's something that we may say that you wanna remember that's gonna be absolutely amazing and you wanna recall it again. Go ahead, take lots of notes. And finally, screenshots. We love for you to take screenshots and tag us on social media. If you loved something we said, we can't wait to hear from you for you to say that. So what are your expectations? This is, what, this is how we're gonna start. What are your expectations? Write it on the chat. What do you want yeah. from this session? What are you expecting? Either write it on the chat or you can take yourself off mute and let us know. We wanna hear from you. What are your expectations today? Who wants to volunteer first? wants to be brave go ahead don't be shy I'll volunteer first okay go ahead hi everyone my name is Thalia Blankson I'm a student at the State University of New York at Albany uh, uh, connections I feel like we should make connections with people here okay nice to meet you Thalia and thank you so much for for saying that so connections Okay, well, you need connections in order to get to the next level. So this is a good place to start, Thaya. So thank you so much. What are they saying on the chat, Jelixa? What's going on on the chat? What are they saying? What are some of the expectations? Well, I have here that Na Nahitza, uh, right, uh, that she wants to finish her bash uh, the bachelor. Uh, League Dag motivation sophia love the promotion of expression and communication and uh, get successful tools Ooh, uh, love it. advice and support from jasmine here i'm okay. reading great thank you so much jalitza and you are all correct so you're going to get some advice you're gonna learn how to effectively manage those dreams that you have and how to take them to the next level. But here are our expectations. The first expectations we have from you is to be here and now. Listen, we know that we are competing with Netflix, your dog, your parents probably, you know, the TV, your phone. And we know that you leave for five minutes, but come right back. We expect for you to listen actively. That means that you're taking notes, writing down things. You're going to take everything that you're learning here and you're bringing it to the present. We want you to get uncomfortable. Daya, thank you so much. You just became uncomfortable and you, and you engaged with us and you answered a question. And also <coughs> yours, whatever we talk about, we want you to make it yours. So how do we go to the next level how you take your dreams to the next level that begins with the first thing what's a dream who can tell me what a dream is what's a dream come on who wants to volunteer next what's a dream what maybe what you can or what you want uh, something that you can imagine Yes, something that you can imagine. Very good. I love that. Yes. A dream is something that is imagined, that has a picture, has emotions connected to it. Long-term goal. Yes, it's a long-term goal. A dream becomes a goal. Thank you so much, Selena. What are they saying on the chat, Jalixa? Uh, Sasha is telling that it's something that you desire, uh, some ch something that you want and you fight for it. That's and right. I, Alan says that a dream is something that burns you on the inside and reminds you that you need to do it. I love uh, it. I love that. That's a great one, Alan. That is. Elvis is telling that a dream is a personal goal or desire that a person thinks and wants to be able to come true. Yes. Javier says that the skeleton of the dream, it's a plan, all caps, plan. Ooh, everything that you are saying. Uh, I don't know than this person, but some dreams make predict future. So one, a vision of a goal that you want, what you want and work, and work for. It shall moves you. 
Yes, thank you so much, Jalixa, for that. A dream is all of the above. Everything that you said, it moves you. It's something that you want, that you want to make it real, that you want to make it true. But today, we're going to begin with yours. What are your dreams? I want you to take two minutes and write down, because remember, we said you're going to work today. You are going to write down two dreams that you have. Write it down. Write down two dreams that you have. And you know what? Don't stop at two. Keep writing. If you already wrote two down, keep writing. We want you to write your dreams down. Angie, um, uh, while they're uh, right, I have here that a dream is the future. Elianis want to become a nurse. I read before that Ricardo wanted to become a doctor. Wow, uh, those are all amazing dreams. Yeah, be a successful woman, uh -huh. uh, become a successful, a successful processional and be happy. Okay. Sasha is dreaming of earning a PhD. I know that you will kiss. It's also as well. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> to graduate with a great GPA, professor, and diplomat. That's Tal. Uh, be become a gastroenterology. That's Stephanie. Mm -hmm. My first one is to graduate from college and help people that are in the streets. That's Joyce. Very nice, Joyce. Thank you so much. Yeah. Jessica. All right, so we're going to give you another 30 seconds to finish writing down in your notebook your dreams. You can also use the notes in your phone so you always keep your dreams close and remember it. Thank you so much, Juvelkis, for that. Yeah, All right. Minoy, are we done? Is the 30 seconds up? How about we ask them just thumbs up? Can we? Thumbs up if you're done writing down your dreams in your notebook. Let me check on screens just a sec. Let me put on, let me put on the big screens. Angie, before we do that, let me see. Uh, can you all show me some thumbs up if you're done so that I know? Can you do this thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes? Okay, it looks like we are ready. Angie, keep going. Good. So I'm going to... You know what, Mimoy, can you help me? Can you call on someone? I want to know what, what some of these dreams are. I want to hear what some of their dreams are. I want them to verbalize it. Just, just randomly calling and literally like that? Yep, just call one person. Uh -huh. All I need is one or two people. Let's see. I have here Idanis Perez. Idanis. Let's see. What's your dream? Well, my dreams is, um, I dream to be someone who inspires other persons. Who inspires other people. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much, Idani. How about uh, Alexandra Rios? Alexandra, what's your dream, Alexandra? Well, one of my dreams is that I would like to face my fears of being shy. I don't usually speak a lot or share a lot of things that I love. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're I do one more. Yeah, one more. I mean, when uh, Vincent Fuentes. Vincent. What's oh, your? Oh, hello. Well, in terms of my dreams, so first is you know improving my profession, which is I want to be a forensic scientist, particularly working in ballistics. Wow. But more than that, I think uh, my most important dream is that I simply want to help people and I want to help the world in some way. I love that. You want to help people and you want to help the world some way. That's so important. See, those are all amazing dreams. But what do you think holds you back from achieving those dreams? Because remember, we began saying a dream begins in the mind and it's imaginary at the beginning. It's a picture. It's something you have in your mind. What do you think can stop you from achieving these dreams? What are some things that can potentially hold you back from achieving these dreams? Write it on the chat. Write it on the chat. I want to know. Oof, what are they saying, Minwe? The elixir. 
Ay, Jelix. <laughs> Fear, obstacles, procrastination, oneself, financial situations, money, time, overthinking. I love it. Love of, lack of time, yes. uh, fear of failure, yes. insecurity, fear, shyness, the society. Those are all great answers. And you are correct. You know what's the first thing that holds you back from achieving your dreams? It's fear. Oh, yeah. Your fears hold you back. Who can tell me what's fear? What's fear? Is fear good? Is it bad? What's fear? The feeling, a bad feeling. That's right. It's a bad feeling. It's a feeling, right? So this is what happens with fear. There are good fears and there are bad fears. The good fear that you have saves you, right? There's this, the fear that saves you from imminent danger. That's a good fear to have, the one that saves you from imminent danger. Then there's the bad fear, the one that is created in your mind. And it's a production, right, of overthinking. It happens because you're overthinking all the time. And this fear, what happens is that this fear is just created in your mind and it leads to something very specific. It starts to create a limiting belief, a limiting belief in you. Who can tell me what's a limiting belief? What's an example of a limiting belief? What's a limiting belief? It's an example. When somebody say, I, I, I used to say this, yeah. I am not good at numbers. <gasps> and I said it over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then I, so I was kind of programming myself to be bad at numbers because I was saying it so much. Oh my goodness. That is an excellent example, Minue. Telling yourself something that is negative. Minue said, I'm not good at numbers. And she repeated it constantly to herself. And so she shied away from anything that had to do with numbers because she didn't think she was good enough with numbers. See, a limiting belief is a lie that you create in your head about not being good enough, not strong enough, not smart enough. And all of these things hold you back from achieving your dreams. Angie, can I share some of them? Well, Yelitsa, uh, find someone that chat. Sure. That I've heard a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't deserve this. Oof. Another limiting belief. Uh, this, is, this, is my this is what you has for me. Oof. Right? Uh, oh, another limiting belief. Oh, it's a family thing. So my mother this, my father this, my grandparents this. Therefore, me toca a me. Therefore, it's part of something that I have to go through. Um, there's another, another limiting belief that it's more about, I can't, people don't change. Saying people don't change is a huge limiting belief. Of course, a big one. Yeah, uh, we have something there. Yes, uh, there's someone saying that, kids saying that, that, that hate school. <laughs> another one that I'm not with the English. Mm -hmm. uh, there's someone that says that I will never achieve it. I am doing enough or I am still hiding my true potential. Wow. Com comparing myself to others and making myself have smaller goals. Wow. That is so good. Thank you so much you know, Angelita, for sharing. See, you're not alone. You're not the only one that's experiencing some of these beliefs. In order for you to move to the next level and take your dream to the next level, you have to do something very important. You have to identify what your particular limiting beliefs are. Because what you have to do is you have to get rid of those beliefs. And the way you get rid of those beliefs is by, by letting go of the assumption and the judgment that you put on yourself that these beliefs are true. And because they're true, you're never going to do better than that. See, a dream gets executed and happens the minute you let go of the fears and of the beliefs 
that you have placed on yourself about not being able to go after it. But you see, you can't take this dream. We have to stop, Mina. We have to stop here because there's something very important. You can't go to the next level of getting those dreams if you haven't done something important. We can talk about the fears and the limiting beliefs and the overthinking all we want, but something has to happen. We have to do a U-turn. And in that U-turn, something important has to happen. Minwe, what do they have to do? First of all, stop. Thank you for saying that. And then going to the U-turn. And what we say a U-turn is this. Sometimes you say, I can't go back, right? I can't go back. That's a limiting belief, by the way. Saying I can't go back, completely limiting belief. You know when we say we can't go back? Because we feel that we are this arrow, that you're going straight there, right? And it could be anything. I already started my college. I'm on the second year. I don't like what I'm studying, but I can't go back because I'm going to disappoint my parents, because I'm going to disappoint someone. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because if you know that you're going there, you're on the second year, third year, fourth year, you're gonna graduate. But if you say, that's not what I want, that's not who I am, I changed my mind. People say, es de sabios cambiar de opinión. You can change your mind. It's okay. Your circumstances can change. Life is change itself. Life is change. We are not the same 30 minutes ago. I'm not the same five minutes ago. Embrace that change and embrace it with a positive mindset. Because we have limiting beliefs that say like, okay, I've been doing this, I can't stop. Hey, I've met people that say, I don't want to marry this person, but I've already sent the invitations and I already have the dress and I already have this thing, I can't stop. Yes, I know that's personal what I just said, right? It might be touching some of your lives. I am so far with this relationship. I am so far with this job that I can leave. I am so, I am so ahead of this. Stop it. And remember, there's a U-turn. Go back to who you are. Go back to that individual that knows how to do this. Go back to the one that knows how to be disciplined, to the one that wants things so much that there's no procrastination. Go back to that person that you want to be. And it doesn't matter if you fall. It doesn't matter. Hey, I start dying on Monday. By Wednesday and Thursday, my diet is really not that strict, right? But guess what I do? I go back. I have to exercise. It's Saturday already. I forgot. It's like, I'm not going to go say like, ah, oh, it's too late. You know, I miss it. Go back. You can't do 30 minutes of exercise. Exercise 30 seconds. There's always ways to do it. And that is the first step of taking yourself to the next level. The next level is getting up. That's the first step. Please first get up. After you're up, the next thing that you have to do is have a goal. Right? And sometimes our goals are ridiculous. There's like, oh my goodness, the goals that is just, do you realize that in a lifetime you can't accomplish that? It's like, oh, I didn't think about that. All right, whose goal is it? Well, it's my parents' goal. Mistake. Your goals are your goals. It's not your expectations or your professors or a family member or the society. Right, because sometimes we turn on the TV or, or we're watching a show or Instagram or LinkedIn or all this and someone is giving you a goal, that's not your goal. So right now, how about we write our own goal, our own goal. To do this, we need to consider what is a goal and how are you going to make it happen? So we're going to have a plan. We're going to check this plan. We're going to act upon this plan. And then you go back and you plan again and you check up on the plan and you act again and you get up over and over and over again. Now, goals. I mean, they can, 
they can be divided into many, many, many ways. But today we're going to learn smart goals and smart -er goals, right? The first thing with your goal is that it needs to be specific, specific. Uh, I'm going to give you an example right now. Let's see if they can tell me. Uh, go to the chat and respond to this question. I'm going to lose a lot of weight. Is, is that a yes or no? Am I, if, I, if I say, listen, my goal is I'm going to lose a lot of weight. Is that, is that uh, a goal that I'm going to achieve? Yes or no? What are we saying? Someone's saying that you're not going to do it because you're not being specific. They want to know how much you want to weigh, lose. Mm -hmm. um, but Sasha believes in you. Sasha say yes. Exactly. Thank you, Sasha. That's very sweet. But the reality is that if I am not specific, I won't. So I'm going to get a great job. That's not specific. What great job? Which great job? Do you have the name? Now, let's say you don't have the name of the job. It's okay, just put the description. I'm going to have an amazing job where I will be supervising people, um, practicing my leadership skills, and it's going to be around saving the planet. Specifically, I am going to save the whales in the Arctic. Okay, now that's specific. That's not the same as saying I'm gonna save the world. That's, the, the world is big, right? Or I'm gonna make a bunch of money. I'm going to make a lot of money. What, what is a lot? So if you are ambiguous, your goal can't be achieved. So again, start thinking of that goal and start making it. Yes. yes. The second thing, make it measurable. Let's go back. I'm going to lose a lot of weight. A lot. Would. Well, what's a lot? <laughs> Is it five pounds? Is it 10 pounds? By the way, I'm from Mexico City. I measure in kilos. Let's begin with that. So to me, eight pounds means absolutely nothing. But if I'm going, if I'm saying, I'm going to lose two kilos every week. Maybe it's possible. So measure this goal from A to B. What is A? What is B? Good. The next thing. Attainable. And attainable means that it's possible, that it's feasible. I'm going to lose 40 pounds in one week. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> I, can't. I mean, it's, it's attainable, but it's dangerous, right? Attainable means that you know that you can do it. And it's possible because you've done it before, right? I am going to make this amount of money. I am going to find this job that I want. I'm going to apply for this job. I'm going to apply for this master's degree. I don't know what, you, what, what it is, but don't say I'm going to apply to any master's degree, which one you want. And then, and then, right, go to the next one, which is, is it realistic? And it has nothing to do with your lack of capability, by the way, you're very capable very capable realistic just means is it possible to accomplish it in the time frame let's go to the next one which is timely bound right is it timely bound? is it possible to achieve this goal in the time that you are saying so just check it's all about reality and do not aim low Never aim low. Even if a family member, even someone that loves you, say like, ay, bájale un poquito, like you're, you're in the stars. Yes, yes, aim for the moon. Aim for the moon. Because even if you fall, you'll fall among the stars. I heard that before. So don't aim for the stars, aim for the moon. Go high, go high. Very good. The next one that we have, obviously, it's related to ethical. Because I truly believe that the end does not justify the means. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. That's not okay. So not because you want something you can cut corners and cheat and lie and all that. No, 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 no. Ethically. And I'll tell you why. I'm a public speaking coach. And people say, hey, Minoue, what about you fake it till you make it? <laughs> I was like, you're faking it? I will know, Corazon, if you're faking it. People know. We're, we're intelligent. You know when someone's faking it, so why would you do it? No, 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 no. 
master it until the, the practice it until you master it that's much better so be ethical your behavior needs to be honest transparent be hard working person and the last one is results and it's results oriented in terms of tracking track put milestones do you know what a milestone is like so you put dates in between and you say i am going to accomplish this let's say i am going to finish my degree and apply for a master's degree which one on sociology okay good by when by december of 2020 okay good um where are you now and what do you need to do okay i'm about to finish my my, my call. okay good what do you need to do well i need to fill up the paperwork uh pay the whatever the, the, the fee is um and study that is a goal that is a goal so whatever goal you have just set up for yourself make it smarter and I'm going to give you one minute to make it happen, to make it really, really smarter. Are you ready? Are we ready? And please let me know. Are there any questions from all of you participants? Yelixa, are there any questions or anything before we write down our very smart goal? And not yet. Okay. Not that, not on the chat. Fantastic. So we're going to share our very, very smart goals, right? And write it down specifically measurable, attainable, realistic, ethnic and bound with results oriented. Take your time, let's use this time for you. And I'm going to give you one minute, write down your goal, make it really smarter. Um, hi, can I say something? Yes. Um, hi, my name is um, Joyce and I was, um, it's not a question, but I just wanted to say that I really love this because, you know, it, it gives us um, uh, like motivation to keep studying and give all that we have so we can, uh, you know, give the best of us and help others. And you already giving me motivation to keep <laughs> studying because I'm really, really tired. Um, because you know I have a lot of work and this is my second time I change of program or concentration. And I was really like, um, I'm sorry, my English is not a little. Your English is fantastic. Um, and you've got to stop saying that because it becomes your limited belief. <laughs> Did I catch you? Did I catch you? And not just for you, anyone in this conversation, if you keep saying my English is not good, I can't understand it, I'm not good, you're going to make it happen. So that today, zip zip, from now on, uh, you can say things like my English is improving. How about that? Yes? Yeah, it's much better. <laughs> yes. But only that I wanted to say, you know, for Thank you for giving me that motivation to keep studying and for me to become a future nurse and will help people on the street that, you know, because they do matter and they need the help they can get. So thank you. Thank you for saying that. Thank you so much. Don't give up. This is for everyone here. Don't give up. Don't give up. I went to college at the same time as I was working. I had to be at eight o'clock at work, so getting up at six, right? And I finished between three and four. I didn't have time for lunch, so I ate on the, on the bus in La Guagua. That's where I was eating. And then, or walking, or, or somewhere like that. And then I went to study until 10 p.m. And some days I say, how am I going to do it? I can't. And, and, and I didn't get all the grades, you know, I wasn't an A student. But I was very dedicated and I wanted to do this. Education is what's going to get you to the next step. This is, what, this is why HEADS exists. HEADS is here for you to remind you you're not alone. There's resources for you. There's people, there's, there's the same. You're not alone. So reach out and say, what do you need? And the most important thing, don't give up. It's all up to you, all up to you. Thank you for sharing that you're motivated. We are as well. And you mentioned a second thing. We are not here to serve ourselves, right? You have a talent at the service of others. 
your purpose in this life is to make this world a better world through your talents. Imagine this, we're like 150 people in this conversation, 150 people with different talents. Marvelous, que maravilla, que bendición, we're different. Some of you are great with mathematics, some of you are great with health, some of you are good with reviewing something with, with nature. That calling in your heart, you know this calling because you have this calling since you're a child. You know what I'm talking about. This calling that you have, follow it. This passion is your calling. And guess what? Because all of you are very, very young right now. I'm telling you now, because I'm doubling your age. If you don't follow your call right now, your call is going to find you. And it's finding you at 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, 80 years old. So if, just think about this. If you're calling, tu vocación, tu llamado. If it's going to find you sooner or later in life, because that is how it is, when do you want it to happen? When you're 50 or 60 or 70 already? No, now. You know what I'm talking about? Because people have told you as well, yes or no. People have told you, oye, pero que buena eres para esto, you should do this. You're so good at this, you should do this. You, you, you know this. So then go fully for it. And believe that you can live out of it, by the way. Money should not be something stopping you. Hey, I know people that live out of cupcakes. There's this guy that is called the empanada guy. He makes empanadas and he makes $4 million on empanadas. How did this guy start it? By making 10 and then 15 and believing and working 12, 14 hours a day. And now check it out. You can live out of anything, by the way. Don't, money shouldn't be a stopper. Thank you for sharing that. Very good. So I hope all of you have your smart, smarter goals. Okay, so it's your turn to make it real. You've got to write them down, but then you also have to share them. Your dreams need to be shared, shared with the world. When I was about eight years old, I, was, I grew up in the church and I was, uh, going to one of those women's day, you know how we, we had, we have church all day long. I, I've been to Sunday school and then we're going to, and then afternoon they were having a women's tea from the women's board. They were having a tea and the little girl that was supposed to be there to do a recitation, uh, had gotten ill. And so they said to my stepmother, we need some, a little girl can Oprah come back and do a recitation this afternoon? My stepmother said, yeah, I'll have her back here this afternoon. So this, you know, church ain't over to 1.30. So by four o'clock, I had gone home and learned to recite Invictus by William Ernest Henley. Now, it starts out, out of the night that covers me, black as a pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever God's be for my unconquerable soul. I was reciting it and doing the pit from pole to pole. I didn't know what I was saying. But at the end of the poem, there is the stanza that says, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Now my little eight year old brain didn't really fully understand the power and depth of those words, but they sounded good enough for me to write them down and put them on my mirror. And those words, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul became a mantra for me. What it said is I, I'm responsible for the choices that I make in my life. I am responsible. I am responsible. So obviously I grew up and was better able to articulate what those words really mean. And I discovered in physics class, those of you who remember physics, the third law of motion. You remember what that is? The third law of motion in physics says, for every action, it's called Newton's law. And it says for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So what does that mean? That means everything that you are putting out into the world, every action, bam, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It means no matter what you do, 
the energy of what you do, what you say, and most important, the energy of who you are is going out into the world, into your home, into your relationships, and that energy is always coming back to you. You are responsible for the energy that you are pulling out into the world because that very energy, bam, is coming right back to you every single time, whether you believe it or not, because it is law. It is law. It is law that what you put out into the world is coming back. Thank you, and I hope that you like this. I am very inspired every time I hear this woman. Yelixa, any comments on the chat before we recap? Uh, yes, there are some comments uh, while you were talking. Uh, for example, uh, Alexandra, it's uh, saying that she will take some of her free time to practice her cooking skills. Uh, that she is learning from university courses uh, so she can be a successful chef and serve plates to people that produce uh, to produce a smile on their faces and then also have a very uh, well-established plan to become a, as one of the greatest tattoo artists and entrepreneurs and create his own shop <laughs> Thank you so much, Elisa, and keep them coming. And here is what we're going to do with our goals. Are you ready? Number one, we're going to share them. We're going to share them as much as possible. If you want to put them on the chair, we love, we'll love to hear them. And most importantly, write them down, write them down in a piece of paper, in a cardboard, put it wherever. Because I'm going to tell you something. I wrote this down a long time ago. And Angie and I sit down in a coffee shop and we wrote it down in a, in a napkin like the story says and in a piece of paper. It became a reality. We shared it with one another. So when you share a dream out loud, when you say it out loud, there's this beautiful author, philosopher, Paulo Coelho. He said, the universe will conspire to make it happen. I truly believe it. The universe conspires. I can prove it. The second thing is, you know, when, you, when you're accomplishing something and the people around you will start helping you to get there, even without you asking. It's like when you collect something, right? I, I, I love like Wonder Woman stuff, right? I don't ask for it, but, but people give it to me. They give me the, the chains and I love every, every single thing that they give me. I don't ask for it, but why do they do it? People do it because, because they, like me, they like me or love me and I love them back. So it's called in sociology, by the way, collective wisdom. So collectively, right, the, co the collective intention will help you accomplish your goal. You share right now that you want to be chef, right? Share it with the world. Think about me when this happens. People are going to start giving you books for cooking, Things, new things for the kitchen, um, an article in internet, they're gonna send it to you. It will happen, I'm telling you right now. And the third thing, without speaking about religions, because we are very respectful, but if you believe in something bigger than you, whatever you wanna call it, Allah, the universe, God, Dios, however you wanna call it, there's something supreme, will also align with you. You must believe in that that you can't see now, so that other people can believe in you as well. And we have people that believe much more in us than we do in ourselves, right? Well, this is the time for you to believe that, that they believe you're capable of. You wanna take yourself to the next level? You wanna go to the next level? Start by believing that it's possible, that you can do it. Let's recap today's session then. You know, really quickly, there yes. was someone who raised their hand. Uh, Yvette Guillen had raised her hand. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, hi, <laughs> I'm from Mexico, from the University Autónoma de Guadalajara. <gasps> and I want to ask you a question. I, I want to ask you if you believe in the power of abstraction or what do you think about it? Absolutely, and uh, my regards to Universidad de Guadalajara. I was recently uh, a faculty there. Yes, of course, of course, I, I believe in that. And, I, and, I, and it's not just something that you can't see. It's, it's, it's 
it's physics. It's physics. You attract that that you're calling over and over. Let me give you a very quick example of that without, it's, it's, it's already time, so without going farther, very quickly. Um, your thoughts, your thoughts control your actions and your words. And whatever you're thinking, you're creating. So if you continuously say, I'm going to fall, right? I'm clumsy, right? Because there's a limit, a limiting belief. I'm clumsy. Whether you want it or not, you will fall often. No, you will trip often. And you will say, oh, que mala suerte. What a bad luck. I'm attracting bad luck. Okay. So it's not that you're attracting the, the bad luck, by the way. It's not, you're not calling it. It's just that it's happening to you because you have programmed yourself to fall. It's like, uh, I want good people in my life. Okay, what is that good people? I want people that are honest, that are lovely, that are ethical. You're going to call them. But when I say call them by this law of attraction, it does not mean that you will have good people, but other people won't. It doesn't, it's not like that. Is that I will be able to identify them and they will identify me with these virtues that I'm calling and other people might not identify them, unfortunately. So if the attraction, the law of attraction exists when you are able to spot the signs of that that you want. And then it's beautiful because you get clarity and you see it and it appears in your life. And nothing is coincidence. Nothing is coincidence. Absolutely anything is coincidence. If you fall, if you have mistakes, everything that has gone wrong, it's a lesson. Andrew Gando taught me this one. There are no failures, only lessons to learn. If you want them to be lessons, because some of you might not want them, and that's a decision that you have to make, right? Oh, I make this mistake. Oh, I say this bad thing. Oh, I did this bad thing. Oh, I dropped this thing. Like we, you, can, you can be punishing yourself for you want and live in the world of a victim or, or, or you can decide not to be victim, but be victorious and say, okay, I made a mistake. How are you going to fix it? What would you do different? What went wrong? What went right? How can you improve it? Grow on that. If someone is being bad to you, forgive them and call them however you want to call them. I call them tyrants, right? Like people that are bad. Be, great, be grateful of the people that are helping you grow. When you receive feedback, feedback is a gift. Say thank you, whatever that feedback is. Because there's feedback that's like, ooh, right? So attract that, call that. You call it. You call the good, the good things in life. Absolutely. And thank you for your question. So to oh, thank you. Thank you. So to recap, define your dream. Very defined. Very defined. Find your north and, change, and, and chase that north. Second, let go of your fear, of your limiting beliefs. Then create that plan for you. Make it very smart. And finally, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the way. Because if you get too serious, anxiety comes and you don't want anxiety. Enjoy the small victories of life. Enjoy the tiny things that you, that, that you can accomplish every day. And that's exactly how you need to the next level. We have in Yoshida Academy a philosophy called Kaizen philosophy that Juvelkos mentioned before. And it's called Kaizen, that it means continuous improvement if today you take one thing, just one, a tiny one, this will change your life. A tiny one. It, whether we'd be drinking a glass of water extra or getting up one hour before or reading that book that you haven't read or, or calling that person that you know you need to call or applying to that thing that you're just procrastinating. And just one, a tiny one, your life will change. So every day, take one step and your life will change. Thank you so much. It has been a very, very, very big pleasure to be with all of you. Please follow us on social media. We are in LinkedIn. We are in, in Facebook and Instagram. You can also find Angie Ogando, como Angie Ogando Coach. And you put it on the chat so they can find you. And you can Google me, go to LinkedIn, put Minue Yoshida. 
and I will definitely uh, say, okay, just put something like, uh, give, give me a, where, where did you find me so that I can click quickly, right? Um, but follow us and, and let's stay connected. In the beginning of this session, you asked for connection. Let's begin that connection right now. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And now, uh, you Belkis, the password. Excellent. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Minwe. Josh, uh, also Angie, Angelica. We call her Angie because uh, we knew that this is going to be awesome, but definitely you excel the expectation. All the comments in the in the chat ratify, ratify that. So we are so pleased that you like it. You can still put your comments in the chat because now uh, we are running a little bit, just a little bit late. Remember this chat, uh, this event is runs from 1 to 2.30. So now uh, I would like to uh, move to the final part of the event and we ask Stephanie Perez, our marketing and social media coordinator. She's a student. She took the chance to accept uh, this invitation to be part of our team, and we are so pleased she did. So, Stephanie, go ahead. Let's meet Stephanie from our team. And please, Stephanie, uh, share the, Bella, the rules to be able to continue winning with us. Go ahead, Stephanie. I can hear you. Are you mute? Okay, I don't know if we lose Stephanie. Bueno, here in Puerto Rico, I don't know in the States, so here we have like a storm. Uh, so probably the connection with the internet always get bad. So uh, in the meantime, Stephanie get connected, probably she lose power. We have, uh, uh, no, put, put the uh, back again. Uh, uh -huh. For the first 10 students who share your experience in your social media and tag us, Heads at heads.org. You can you, uh, you can use Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. One of the you know your prefer uh, social media. Uh, share your experience and tag us and send us the evidence, a screen screen of your post uh, to info at heads.org with your name, phone, institution, and postal address. Then you will receive, will be receiving a gift from off just for the 10 first uh, guy, uh, students who do that, who, who do this. Remember, you have to be a student to win. And now, please uh, put the next slide, Eminue. And in the meantime, we are putting the next slides with the giveaway rules uh, that we share and some of you follow in order to enter to this raffle. I would like to introduce a uh, captain, a uh, uh, pilot, excuse me, Rudy Laufer, and who is the assistant chief pilot of Cape Air. The, 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 this uh, Cape Air is one of our sponsors, and he is uh, he's gonna uh, uh, talk briefly and tell us about tell us about a very interesting program for pilots in alliance with the Inter American University Bayamon campus. And also, uh, probably he will be sharing alliances that they have also with universities in the state. So, Captain, are you there? Hi, Hi good afternoon. Ah, Can it's, you hear a, me? it's a girl. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I only have your name. It's a, it's a, it's a name that could be either a man or a guy. So I'm glad you're a woman. Go ahead, Captain. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Um, yes. So I'm a, the Caribbean chief pilot for Cape Air. I've worked for this company for about five years, and it's just a wonderful company. And, and I don't know how many people are participating today that are interested in aviation, but if you have any, as the other speaker was mentioning, goals or desire for aviation, pursue it 100%. It's a spectacular profession, a very rewarding profession, and it's a great community to be part of. Cape Air is a wonderful company. Obviously, we're smaller than American Airlines or JetBlue, but we, we're a good company. It's a family company. Everybody knows everyone. It's wonderful. And good people to work for. We have a lot of alliances and I apologize, but I'm not well versed with the alliance with Inter-America and Bayamon. I, I'm really sorry about that. I was only invited no to do this yesterday afternoon and I wasn't provided mm. that information. 
but I do know that we have a lot of pathway programs that flow directly into JetBlue or Spirit. We also have a program that goes into Horizon Airlines, which is a stepping stone into Alaska. This is a great company. We have a lot of fun, good family, aviation is wonderful. And then it's a great place to start a career and launch into a bigger airline like JetBlue, as I was mentioning before, we have programs associated with JetBlue and Spirit. Um, it's just a lot of fun. If you want to fly airplanes, this is the place to do it. It's a lot of fun here. Great place. I don't really know what else you want me to say today. I'm sorry. It was kind of You're a last minute. You're totally <laughs> fine. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. Yes, you have an alliance in the Inter-American and another colleague from Caper talking the last month uh, event that we held in Spanish. But yes. I know you have other alliances. So we are glad that students know about this and find more information. That's our main goal. And since you have been terrific supporting our events during the past years, we are always welcome you sharing this great news for our students. So thank you very much, much for your time. And we hope that you get better, you know, in, in your area since the COVID I know has uh, hidden uh, the air, uh, uh, you know, your, your feel. Uh, but I know that we will recover very soon. And I, I, I like uh, that you were able to share with us your experience. So thank you so much, Captain Pilot. <laughs> Bye, have a good day. So we continue uh, now with a, with a ruffle of the ones who were able to follow this, the, the, the rules and the steps in order to enter to the raffle. We're gonna start first with four winners. If you like what you heard from Minwe and Angie, please stay tuned, the ones who follow the steps and enter to the raffle because uh, they're gonna, uh, we're gonna raffle four winners to access to the first leadership public speaking or excellent programs. Okay, and that has a value of $1,200. So, Karen, if you are there, in order to yes. make this, okay, a very transparent, all the winners, <laughs> uh, uh, are, we enter the names uh, on the ruffles and, uh, I mean, on the, on this base, a uh, crystal base. So, you see that we are uh, selecting, how we are selecting the names. And uh, Minoy, if you want to share a little bit in the meantime that uh, Karen announced the names uh, about this program or Angie? Absolutely, we can share that. The Confident Public Speaker is a program created about uh, three years ago, and uh, we have done this in Univision Telemundo, HBO, SP Global, uh, IBM, IPG, and uh, it is six sessions. It's every other week, and uh, we are starting on January. So the winners will receive information from us so that we can give them the dates where they will participate on this program. And on the program, we will cover things like, how do you express your authentic self? How do you bring this authentic self out, right? And out and about, it's about being loyal to who you truly are. So what's your brand, your personal brand? We also touch base on verbal and non-verbal communication. So verbal communication such as, tone, volume, pace, right? And nonverbal communication. Because it's 85 to 90% of the communication is nonverbal. So what does it mean when you do this, when you do these other micro expressions? Um, and uh, oh, there's a lot of practice, so it's experiential, hand on. And, uh, and you receive uh, individual coaching. So hopefully, we have the winners now. Yeah. Yes, Karen. Yes. You need to select four, uh, and remember, one of the rules is that you have to what? be present to win. So please, if you hear your name, please say present on the chat or activate your microphone. Go ahead. And the first name is Megan Rodriguez Natalie from Inter American University uh, Ponce Campus. Megan. Megan Rodriguez Natalie. Megan from yes from Interamerican University Ponce Campus. Is she here? One. Let us know. Okay, you have one, three. Let's give her three more seconds. One. Hello. Una. 
No, ah, no. Dos, tres, no, ok, let's find another name. Ok, another name is Joyce Muñiz Ramírez from Newk National University College, University. Aquí estoy. Joyce is here. Hey, we have a winner. Yes. The oh, first one, ok. Uh, one of the rules is that you send the email with all the information, contact info, so we have it already, so thank you and congratulations. The second? The second is Jose Ortiz from EDP University. Jose Ortiz? Presente. Yes. We have a second winner. Go ahead. Next. Okay. Congratulations, Jose. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have a question. Uh -huh. Can you guys hear me? Yes. What happened if you don't use social media? Yeah, I saw that in your chat and definitely it's the first time we, you know, we noticed that. So we're going to take that definitely into consideration. So our apologies that because on the events that we have held in 2010 with students, uh, we never raised that uh, voila, issue, but now that you do, and we really appreciate it, we definitely will take it into consideration for the next and uh, the next one. Events. Okay, thank you. So thank you. I, I, I apologize for that. Okay, the next is uh, Diane Ruby Alvarado Pizarro from Inter American University Fajardo Campus. Diane Ruby Alvarado Pizarro from Intra-American University, Fajardo Campus. Juan, a la una, Diane. A las dos. A las tres, no. Ok. Diane is not here, so... Somewhere, ok. Somewhere. No, another name. Another name is... <laughs> Albert Troche. From nah, you San Germán. Now I'm working on Bayamón, pero sigo siendo estudiante de San Germán. Eso es así, you're a doctor student, so definitely you meet the rule. So welcome, congratulations. Another, the another last one, one you were kiss. Another last one. <laughs> yeah. He's a lucky man. <laughs> yeah, definitely he is. Okay. And the last one is Alan Rivera Concepcion from Ana Jiménez University, Carolina I'm here. Campus. Okay. Hey. Great. So we have from EDP National, Ana Jiménez and Interamerican. That's awesome. So congratulations to all. Okay, we have more prizes. So we have six, 20, uh, six gift cards from Office Depot and Office Max, our sponsors of $25 each. So please start, let's start with the first uh, winner. Of okay, this and prize. the first winner is Joanelis, Joanelis Santiago Sideli from Inter-American University, Bayamón Campus. Joanelis Santiago Sideli. Inter-American University, Bayamón Campus. Presente, ¿me escuchan? <laughs> sí, sí, perfect. We have a winner. The second Office Max gift card goes to... Bayamón, Bayamón Campus is on fire. Laura Liz Ferrer Lugo from Inter-American University, Bayamón Campus. <laughs> Laura Liz. Laura Liz Ferrer Yo, Lugo. Laura. Okay. Laira, Laira. Y Laira. soy de Ponce. Ah, I'm sorry, pues sorry. No problem. Oh, it's Inter-American. Okay. Gracias. We are another. taking notes. Delixa, you're taking notes of all the names, right? Okay. Yes, okay, yeah. another one. The next is... Arelis A. Angueira from University of Puerto Rico, Bayamón Campus. Arelis A. Angueira, from University of Puerto Rico, Bayamón Campus. Are you there? Arelis Angueira. A la una, a la dos, 
No, another one. Okay, the next. Let me. Vamos move por there. el third, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Okay. Okay, the yeah. another one is Evie M. Garcés from Inter-American University, San Germán Campus. Evie M. Garcés from Inter-American University, San Germán Campus. ¿Está? Ahí está Evi, ¿verdad? I don't know. Hello. Hello. Evi. Evi, ¿puedes escribir en el chat? No. No, yo creo que alguien activó. I think someone activated okay. the microphone. Another okay, one. Let's, another one, please. Okay, another one. Please. Okay, Jelianis González Lugo from Ana G. Mendes University, Gurabo Campus. Jelianis. Aquí está, we have a winner, congratulations. Uh -huh. Esa es la número cuatro, right? Number four. Okay, another one. We have two more, two more gifts, two more prizes, okay. gift cards. Okay, is Saimari Chevere from International University. O Universidad Internacional. Saimari Chevere. Eh, no, is that eh, you? Yes. Yo estoy en la Inter. Ok, excuse okay. me for the papers. Ok, don't worry. It's okay. No, okay. Saimari, Saimari. Saimari, ok, perfect. Thank you. Ok, congratulations, Saimari. And the last one? And the last one is... Oh, Dios mío. Ok, and the last one is... Alejandra E. Gregory from Inter Inter-American University, San Germán Campus. I'm Alejandra. here. Yes. Ahí está. Ok, Alejandra, congratulations. Eh, Yelisa, you have all the names. Now we have four Amazon gift cards that we're going to send by email because it's going to be a, uh, uh, by, by internet and saying to your emails, we have four uh, cars of $20 each. So, okay. we start and with the num first one. Number one is, okay, Josnidi Ramos from Inter-American University, Guayama Campus. Just I'm here. She's here. She's okay, here. congratulations. Thank Jelisa, you have the name, right? Okay, another one is, uh, just me. Is wow, Yvette Guilén for Universi Univers Un University Autónoma de Guadalajara. Yes, I'm University. here. Ah, qué bien. Good. So you're gonna receive an email with that, okay? With the with Thank the card. You. Excellent. Oh, okay. I'm so happy you win. You and all two of more you. or one more? Three, two more, two more, two more. Okay. Bella, we have two. We have already two, Jelisa. Sí. Yeah, we have okay. Yosnidi Ramos and we have Yvette Guillén. Okay. okay, another one is Jamet Afmi uh, from Inter-American University. Hamed or Jamet Afmi Rivera from Inter-American University. No, I think no. a la una, dos, tres. Okay. another one. Is sorry, but okay, the paper. Wait, going on? Es que Karina González from Interamerican University, Ponce Campus. Karina González, Interamerican University. Yes. Hey, we have a winner and the last one. Oh, just me. Okay. Yes, the last one is Alaya. Foreman from Ana Jiménez University, Coupey Campus. Al Alaya Foreman. Ana Jiménez University, eh, Coupey Campus. Alaya, número a la una, a la dos. Mm, no? Okay, no. Pues. Okay. One, no. One more. One more. 
Amare, who's the lucky one? Okay. Now we uh, have from Jorelis, Jorelis Rivera Lopez from Ana Jiménez University, Carolina Campus. Jorelis Rivera, she's present? Aquí estoy. Okay. Ah, muy bien. Excelente. Okay, pues thank you, Karen. Thank you so okay. much. And please, Karen is part of our team. She's the consultant of student affairs. Also, you already met Jalixa Castro, our executive assistant of public relations. And we have two new teams, uh, members on the team. Uh, Stephanie, that she apologized by WhatsApp because she lose power, as I imagine, because here in Puerto Rico, it's like a storm right now. And Ariel, that you heard from him, uh, he was an ambassador and now he's working with us in, the, in, in his IT uh, skills. Uh, he's the one working with the videos and everything that we do multimedia. So thank you so much. Congratulations to all the winners on this give, give, giveaway raffle. We hope you're joined all the prizes and on behalf of HITS, we thank you for your assistance and as attendance and active participation on this event. Remember to stay tuned to our uh, so uh, we through our social media uh, networks and also use the hashtag heads events and next head hashtag next level to publish your comments about the event. And fun, finally, we would like you to invite you to the next webinars that we will have this semester that includes topics such as uh, in the next slide, th those are our social media at hedge.org. Uh, the first one's going to be in October 23, October 23, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time in Spanish. Uh, comienza o crece tu negocio con Colmena 66. And we also have another one uh, on that's going to be on October 29 uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And the topic is in English is education and development on a human scale. Please, please register to participate at heads.org on the next levels or next events a, a homepage area. And until next time, thank you again for your participation. Thank you, Minue. Thank you, Angie, for your participation. Thank you to our team for helping us putting this together. And thank you to more than 100 students who stay tuned the whole event. We truly uh, appreciate your time and have a very nice weekend. Minwe, if you want to say the closing uh, remarks, it will be the correct time. <laughs> thank you so much. On the contrary, thanks to all of you, to the winners, we have your name, so we will contact you and let you know how you are receiving all the prizes. Uh, please remember, take one step today to your next mm -hmm. step. Until next time, nos vemos muy pronto. Saludos. Remember, we're going to share the recording if you want to see this again or share it with your colleagues that couldn't able to join us live through our social media in the same page you register at the bottom you we have a section that say previous events so you can look for the link there as soon as we receive the recording we're gonna post it so thank you so much and please remember to share your comments and any information that you may need you have my cellular phone number and also our email info at heads O-R-G. Thank you so much and have been a pleasure. Take care. And we hope to see you in the next webinars. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone.